Hola, Joan McGinnis Aki explaining two positive commands. What is a command? It's when you tell somebody to do something. Now, uh, to make a regular command, for example, if I say speak, I say habla. Now, normally when you talk to a person you address as to, you have an S on the end. For example, you live in California. Tu vives in California. You speak Spanish. Hablas español. But now I'm going to make people do things. So I'm saying to them, hey, walk the dog. Not do you walk your dog or you walk your dog. No, I'm saying walk the dog. So by saying it in the to command form, I know that you're telling me to do something. In English, we just use the understood you. Hey, you walk the dog. I know that you're telling me to do something. So let's take the verb caminar. So what I do is I just put it in literally the third person singular, which means the usted, el, ella form of the verb. So I'm kind of not really using the to form at all. It is a new form. I'm using the to mandato or the to command. And it's so easy to make because all I do is put it in the third person singular as if I were talking to a person like a she or a he. So I'd say, camina el perro. Or for example, habla por favor, habla más alta, speak louder. Or maybe somebody is running in a race and I say, corre, corre, run, run, command, to form. It's my kid out there. I'm not using the usted form. I'm saying corre, meaning you, run. Now, because this is Spanish and they just do these things. We have eight irregulars. On the other videos that are following, I have all eight irregulars separately explained to you. But other than that, the two command is pretty easy as long as it's positive. We'll get to the negative two commands in a little while. But for right now, you could just tell somebody to do something. You could even say, live, vive. I don't know why you'd say that. Oh, I know a good one. Clean your room. Limpia tu cuarto. Yes, I have children. So at one kid at a time, I would say limpia tu cuarto. Or lavate las manos. That's a big one around here. Washing your hands, definitely. Hmm.